23 with the J's on, look at me, I'm a maze on, smoking weed to the day gone, double D's with a couple trees, boy, I fuck on knees when I make bonds, pulling off with a bad bitch, black wig with the black tent, that's black on black on black on black, I ride the beat till it crashes, leaving these niggas in caskets, don't bring a gasket, people behind me like passion, don't go remind me of madness, 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 you think you type with the fashion, but you the type that kiss asses, wait, I heard the pastor say, y'all have my day, and not should pray, but fuck it, man, I'm major, major, bitch, I'm what? major, major, bitch, I'm what? major, major, bitch, I'm what? major, yeah, yeah, look at my Haters, look at my papers. Someone go tell me how far we done came from. Start at the bottom and all of us came up. Uh, uh, came up. Tell them we, tell them we, tell them we. Bitch, I'm what? Major, major. Bitch, I'm what? Major, major. Yeah, yeah, look at my haters, look at my papers Someone gon' tell me I'm all we done came from Start at the bottom and all of us came up Came up, yeah, yeah. This shit a doozy, don't want it like I'm a flutie All of these women, they choose me, they get the tooly booty Bigger than Judy, Judy, Judy Yeah, too high like no fleas Four or five for the OG Taking time to scope me, mm, never mind, you can proceed I don't give a fuck, did what the hood and did to us We were young and was sitting fucked Now my niggas pulling up in bigger trucks Anti, I'ma live it up Stacking money like Diddy does Give him truth with a little dust Who are you trying to sit with us? Bitch, you ain't major, major, bitch, I'm what? Major, major, bitch, I'm what? Major, major, bitch, I'm what? Major, yeah, yeah, look at my haters, look at my papers Someone gon' tell me how far we done came from Start at the bottom and all of us came up, uh, uh Tell them we, tell them we, tell them we Bitch, I'm what? Major, major, bitch, I'm what? Major, major, bitch, I'm what? Major, yeah, yeah, look at my haters, look at my papers Someone gon' tell me how far we done came from Start at the bottom and all of us came up Came up, who you please? You ain't shit, nigga Who you with? We ain't fucking with your click, nigga You got fake hoes I got real niggas And they fight niggas Rob niggas Kill niggas Tell me who you is You ain't shit, nigga Who you with? We ain't fucking with your click, nigga You got fake hoes I got real niggas And they fight niggas Rob niggas Kill niggas Hey, welcome back to the Trip Trap Talk Show. This week we have a special guest, the Antisocial. That first song was by him, and it's called Major. Check it out on SoundCloud. We're going to be playing another song by him called Bankrolls. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Twenty dollars in my bank account, try can read my face. You see the pain in my eyes, a fake disguise. I hope that I reach my fate before I face demise. Unless that is my fate, I pray the Lord it ain't my time. I'm sanctified, cause niggas that hate, they just afraid to die. Feel them taking sides. Ain't seen a nigga that's made to fly. I can't decide if I should leave the culture. My hood surrounded by vultures that always plot to provoke you until you falter. I notice the ways of snakes in the grass. Place a crate in your path, then watch and wait till you crash. It's all sad, but my niggas ain't half much. So if we hit the stove, you knowin' that we finna grab stuff. We getting mad looks from the devil now. He see some niggas who ain't settled down. They take the gun and then they let it burn. He just a special child until what surrounds him is getting wild. One bullet can take your life. No need for second round. You better bounce. Until the rains go, never ride. Rockin' plain clothes, dang hoes, they gon' love you till you fold for some fucking bang roll. 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 Yeah, yeah. I can feel the devil lurking. Story in the hearses. Niggas, they gon' kill your ass on purpose for the bang roll. Kill you for the bang roll. For some fucking bang roll. For some fucking bang roll. Yeah, yeah. Yo. Came up from a block where youngins ain't afraid They might cut you with a blade before they run you for your J's I pray your life ain't full of dismay I seen a lot around here Niggas snitched and then got shot around here My only fear is being revered By people that don't care Like if I died they wouldn't get tears They ain't my peers Real colors get revealed until we see the truth What the fuck I see in you These people move faster than vehicles I believe in you and I believe in high power I know a hate is just a blind coward My mind sour cause for hours 
hours I would think about my challenges If I should saddle up and look at how the city tried to balance us Is you matter what, you gonna make a change that you did Or just say fuck it, go and make a deal with Satan instead I'm making amends with the past life that I live And hope to God that I don't see him again I sin for the rain for the rain go, never rockin' plain clothes Dang hoes, they gon' love you till you fall For some fucking bang bro 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 Yeah, yeah, I can feel the devil lurking. Story in the hearses Niggas, they gon' kill your ass on purpose For the bang bro Kill you for the bang bro For some fucking bang bro For some fucking bang bro Yeah, yeah Hey fellow Terps, it may seem like a pain to walk all the way down the street to use the crosswalk, but did you know that several sober walkers have been hit by drunk drivers near the UMD campus this past year? So instead of saving yourself those extra 10 steps, save your life and use the crosswalk. Shit is pure evil. Anti. Uh. Am I do this shit with two headphones on? Cause I never do that. Hey. Yeah. I feel like I live in the Matrix. What? Nah, Jordan back in 86, I'ma make the game switch Ballin' since a kid, I feel like Calvin Kane Bridge rocking A6 I know some haters gonna hate this I know some niggas that don't like me Maybe because you fuck the same bitch But I've been too busy second hella funds Shoes cool, grillin' hella funds I got punch lines like a semi-tuck If I pull them out, you ain't getting up I know broke niggas tryna get a cut On my lifestyle, they don't live enough I see money falling from the sky And I'm like, Lord, please don't umbrella us I'm the new messiah I can burn a fire from the liars that been talking higher than they really am Pink coat like I'm killer cam I could kill a man, had a head spinning like a ceiling fan Back in 9 four, when I rose from the concrete So I keep my eyes low, just to see how far that I've grown Look who God chose, an angel fell from the blue skies He ain't go to hell, he just turned into the anti You can see the pain in his eyes, never had shit But at least he got pride Left, right, watching people die, never cry Still he got by, look at his life All of his haters are mad, check All of his cars are fast, check All of his bitches are bad, check All the shit he never had, check What has he gotta do to be the best? Praying for more when he got left Niggas that never wanna see you fly Then they go put a gun to your chest and damn Another nigga growing up as time get harder A woman cannot raise a man, that's strictly for that father But they don't have a clue, mama tell them haters get off us A woman can raise a man if no alternatives are offered A roof over our heads and solid brick will surround us His father's all over the hood, you hear pops all around us Working doubles every night for that Catholic school deposit So it should only be heard at that parent-teacher conference Boy, I vomit, no landing gear, I'm a falling comet And it's a rap for you, bitch I'm on your head like new bonnet. You boys a bunch of so and so's. Get a dress like suit linings. Pull that face mask down and go head to head like two linemen. I want that money, that power. That respect can come later. I say farewell to them other guys. I don't play shit like Gator. Rarely catch me smoking, but bitch, I got paid for the burn. So my face is more club pics than a yearbook nerd. Press. Those are some dope songs, John. Yeah, I agree. That is from local rapper from Landover, Maryland, The Antisocial. We have been having some transportation difficulties, but it looks like Teddy's back with Anti and his buddy Brian, sound producer. Um, but yeah, it's it was really hard uh, trying to pick, you know, four songs to play because... They were just all so good. Honestly, but... Because of our transportation troubles, maybe it was a little bit of a blessing in disguise. It was mostly we, parking. We got to play three of his songs. We played hey. Major and then Bankrolls hey. and then <laughs> Blue Skies. 
But let's uh, quit delaying and introduce our special guest, the antisocial. Uh, yeah, yeah, right there. Uh, maybe you want to put your chair word, word. closer. Yeah. Um, Get comfortable. All right, anti. Close enough. You good? Well, what's up? Y'all go by the antisocial the last night. How's everybody doing up here, man? Dude, we're doing great. Yeah, good. good. Cool, um, cool. So, one, where are you from, anti? I'm from here, PG. I'm from Landover, to be exact. Okay. Like, that's home for me, so, yeah. Okay. Local boy, okay. Right. Um, how'd you first start getting into music? Um, that's that's actually like a wild story, cause for me, cause I feel like for most artists, like you've kind of always been, you kind of always had like a love for music since like you were like a kid or something. But for me, it's crazy, cause when I was a kid, I never really was into music. Like music was kind of just, it was what it was. I thought music was just what was on the radio. Yeah. Like all the same. Which you know, is not that great. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Cause like you already know, like on the radio, how it is. It's like the same songs in rotation all the time like i didn't think music was that deep it's just the radio so for me it all kind of changed i was really i was i was about 13 and um my mom actually passed away when i was 13 mm -hmm. and then um my sister my older sister she, she went off to college that same year she went to st john's in in new york and uh before she left she left me her ipod like at home as like a gift before she went off yeah, to college yeah, yeah. and i never even like touched it okay. and then um it wasn't until like after she went to school a few months after my mom had passed away and then i kind of like like after that it's kind of like it's, well that's where my, my mother so that's kind of a traumatizing thing yeah so I it kind of so. I, I needed something to like get my mind off of it i needed something to just just to focus on so that's you when i outlet yeah i needed an outlet so that's when i picked up that ipod that i never touched for months like i picked it up for the first time and then i started hearing like all different types of music like all different types of genres like it was like hey, rap like rock like reggaeton all types of stuff but then of course rap was where i like yeah. I gravitated towards and like the the kind of artist she had on there was like nas like jada kiss most deaf like the real like so the like lyricism yeah, yeah and that kind of it kind of just stuck to me and then um yeah just the things that though those that the art those type of artists were talking about for what i went through it really just connected to me and that's kind of how i really saw how powerful hip-hop is and then yeah that's the kind of we went from there and then um yeah i think i said to y'all earlier i heard j cole for the first time and like probably like feel that human yeah connection. yeah <laughs> yeah i felt, felt that connection to him of what he was talking about just talking about his personal life his own pain his own trauma and it reminded me of myself and then like the way i connected with that it just it hit me like yo like i want to connect with people in that same way through these words that these people are just saying and that they come up with their mind yeah. it's just so insane to me so that's kind of how i fell in love with it and i just started rapping too yeah. Um. So, is your uh, growth of hair? Does that have anything to do with J Cole growing his hair? Out? Nah, it's wild. <laughs> I, I've been growing my hair out since it was. I've been growing my hair out since before he he grew out his hair. I grew out my hair like so you were the OG. I, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if people knew me like that, I could say I was an OG. But nah, I grew my hair out. The story of my hair is is interesting. I used to have a low fade. Like I used to look like a kid, like all through high school. Then my senior year, I grew out my hair because uh, I went through a heartbreak my senior year. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I went through a heartbreak. Actually, my junior year, I went through a heartbreak. And then my senior year, I was just like, you know what? I just need something, something different. I just grew out my hair just said, man, forget everything. I'm going to just be a whole new me. It's kind of like a rebirth, yeah. I guess. Okay. Yeah. I guess you could say. That, yeah, yeah. I've kind of I've stuck to it since then. So, nice. yeah. So if you cut your hair, do you think you'll lose this sense of identity? <laughs> That's a crazy <laughs> question. That's crazy. Like, wow. Well, <laughs> anymore. Right, it's it's crazy because I've been thinking about actually like chopping my hair off just because when it gets this long, it's just like ah, oh, it's just it's you gotta take care of it. It's a struggle. Yeah. Like you you got some yeah, hair too, so you yeah, probably I know. Feel you, yeah, <laughs> like like it's a struggle. It's been at least four or five years since like I had like not this hair or didn't have this hair. So you actually gotta cut. yeah, like I've thought about it, but nah, I I, I don't think that that I I would like lose myself or like my my identity if if I cut it off, but. I've had a thought of it, but I do know that like this is kind of my hair is kind of how people identify me. So yeah. like, and so I kind of I'll probably rock it for the, 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 the near future unless some <laughs> there's a drastic change and I just yeah. Like, just but no, I, your, I think uh, I'm gonna keep it. Yeah. Do the, the ladies like it? Right, right. <laughs> do ladies like the hair? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's 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 why I keep it. I always think of of the weekend. Like he always had that crazy hair and yeah. then he cut it. I feel like like the weekend was known for his hair. Like that's yeah. how people identified him. So it's like. He it got to a point in his career where he could cut it and then they could still accept the weekend without just the hair. Like now you know who he is. So I guess if I get to that point, I'll so you, cut you it. You just off. gotta wait till you get, you know, a humongous amount of fans. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. And, and then, then the hair comes and, up. and then I right, it's safe now. I'm cut it off. <laughs> but yeah. Um so like Nas and J. Cole are both 
um, known for dropping like legendary albums with right. no features on it. Yeah, is that the kind of route that you want to take? Um, it's interesting because with, with features, I haven't, I don't do a whole lot. I've actually recently I've been trying to do a lot more. Like <laughs> my engineers here too, he knows. Like last few studio sessions I've gone to, I've been trying to do do more features and uh and stuff like that. But um, yeah, because I think why those artists do that, it kind of just shows that like the strength of an artist when you can just drop a whole project all by yourself. Like J. Cole, like he makes on K on KOD, his last album which was amazing. If y'all heard it, I know y'all Of course. Of course. Yeah, it is. It, it, me personally, I think it's amazing. But for J. Cole, it's like he produced, I think, all those those songs except for one, I think. And it just shows, like, that like that's that whole project y'all heard, it came from one individual. Like, individual who's kind of like just like us. He's human like us. Mm-hmm. He created that whole project. The beat, like, the like of course, the lyrics. Like, the, all those ideas are from his brain. So I think that's just, like, really powerful when an artist can drop something that's just them and it's like seen as amazing so i think that's really why he does it i think he just, he just likes that just knowing that he's capable of doing that but um for me um i, I don't know i think i want a few like like a, if i drop an album a few features on it just just, just kind of show like I, I, you can branch out you want a little and bit yeah, more collaboration. yeah collaboration yeah right right because i think being able to do collaborations is a good thing. It's essential. You need yeah, it. Like yeah, like you have to collab. Like especially so. like you're on SoundCloud where everyone can find you. Right. And I know you're getting like random messages saying like, "Hey, can I get on a track with you?" Something oh like yeah, that. yeah, like, yeah. So yeah you right. Have to be able to like just be able. To yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, but especially now in this in this point in, in, in like in your career early, mm-hmm. collaboration is so important. It's key. Like that. That's how you, you get your name out. Like because you hop on somebody's song, that's all their fans now seeing you. So that's very important. So early, of course. Features are incredibly important. Do you but think later, you, yeah. yeah. Do you think you like learn a lot from collaborating with other people? Oh yeah. You see like they're different creative. Yeah, processes? yeah. Like you, it's crazy because I feel like when 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 you you collab, you could definitely you can definitely have one view of an artist before you collab with them. Then like if you could sit in the studio with them and see how they work and see yeah. what they really do, like their process, you can learn things that because a lot of artists think that they're like like like. Personally, they think they're great. The they know everything. <laughs> yeah. But then when you go in the studio, work with somebody else, you learn something you didn't know. So I feel like that's important too. It's all about passive learning. Yeah. Yeah. yeah pretty much. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So how how do you like how's your writing process start? Like, mm-hmm. are you usually like pen on pad or like? Um, for for me, when when I first started, I, I was yeah, I used to use like a pen and pad. Mm-hmm. Then I guess to save time, I went to my phone. But okay. then I noticed more that. Like I think for all artists, I suggest you do like a pen and pad, cause I think it's it's, it's it's it takes longer, but it's just that like it's like when like you're writing a paper as you're writing it, you you can go back, you see where you messed up, you yeah, see things yeah. things you want to change. It's like it's more personal. Yeah. But I feel like you're writing it with like a pen and pad. So I've actually, what I did myself, I used to do pen and pad all the time. Then I went to the phone, cause another thing I noticed that my lyrics I think are a lot stronger on a pen and pad than in the phone. So for me. I tried to try to, to do this thing. I think of it. I, I think of Rock Lee from Naruto. I think of it all the time. And I, I remember back. He used to wear these weights on his oh, legs. When he yeah, fought yeah. guard. Y'all know what I'm talking yeah. about. He took him off. <laughs> He's flying. I always think of that. I'm gonna write on my phone because I noticed, like I said, I'm more lyrical on the pad. But if I get really good on my phone with the weights on, once I go back to the pad, I'll be Fly something ahead. different. Yeah. So that's where I, I've been training myself. I always try to try to train myself and try to make things harder on myself. So when things are hard and it's easy once yeah. i go back doing what i was it's effortless so yeah definitely on the phone too you can get a lot more distracted oh all yeah. oh, that too like <laughs> yeah. yeah you just get distracted on your phone like yeah you're more focused when it's, it's tough right honestly no but you're still doing it man you're yeah. like you're like releasing stuff like pretty pretty yeah, fast thanks. and often right right yeah trying to so, yeah, yeah. You had a tweet and you're like, I'm dropping new music every month. Yeah, like what inspired yeah, yeah, you to yeah, yeah. We're that. trying to. That is just a thing. I just want to show consistency. Cause yeah, cause at yeah. first I, I was dropping songs. It'd be like a few months between. It was crazy. Like cause what I've noticed. Cause a lot of people think that yeah, the songs you drop, like that's all I got. Yeah, nah, like, obviously I have not. Endless songs just sitting around. So it's more of a thing with just getting those songs complete and just dropping them. Like we have yeah. songs we can, like we could drop whenever. They just have to be finished. Just like overall mixing wise, sound wise, all that. So yeah, it's just a, that's like a challenge to me and my engineer to challenge ourselves to try to get those songs done, drop them each month while we're still working on the new stuff. The real stuff is what we call it. But yeah, that's kind of just a challenge to, mm-hmm. to myself to try to do that. Would mm-hmm. you say you uh, fall into the trap of uh, perfectionism a lot of times? Oh yeah, man. Yeah. I, th- I think that's just an artist thing. Like if you're a producer too, like if you're Ooh. you're anything, I feel like you just want every, everything to you be, want perfect. It to be perfect. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but one thing I've learned is that sometimes the imperfections are what make a song great. Yeah. So yeah, sometimes being being perfect can actually hold you back 
Because, like, there are ideas, like, sometimes you got to get your ideas out. They don't always have to be perfect. Like, it's not always about having, like, a perfect song. The world or, isn't like, perfect. Yeah, because me, like, I'm, I'm, I, I care about being perfect so much. I'll be in the studio. I'll record one verse, like, 30 times. And oh it's only God. because, like, I made, there may have been one word I didn't like. And I'll just like, nah, I gotta do it again. I gotta do it again. I gotta do it to the point my engineer has to stop me. Like, yo, it's fine. Like, relax. <laughs> like, it's <laughs> fine. It's just cause one word. But yeah, just cause like, I have this thing in me. I want to be great so bad. Like, I want to be seen as someone who's just like, just, just great. I want to be seen as one of the greats. You want that recognition? Yeah, like I want mm-hmm. that. And that's and sometimes and actually I'm learning. Like I'm learning through time. Like that. Like sometimes being hungry for that recognition is not like the greatest thing. Like sometimes like you just need to be yourself and not be worried about who's seeing your stuff about trying to be the greatest all the time. Sometimes it's just being yourself and let the greatness, those views of greatness come just from being yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, do you care about like what other people think about your music? Is that what leads you to be mm. such a perfectionist? I know that's what one of yeah, my good right? friends does. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's like, to be honest, yeah, I, I, I would say I do. And this year, I actually, I'm putting it more on myself. That's why like, I'm reading a lot more too, just to learn stuff. I'm putting it more on myself to not care as much. Because yeah, when, when you care so much, like you're so perfect you want you want to be so perfect that like things that you're doing get pushed back like you may have a project oh, yeah. working yeah. on oh it has to be perfect da, 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 da. now six months behind because you want to be perfect like so i'm trying to teach myself you know what you don't have to be perfect all the time like since, since sometimes you just got to g- g- give it your all and just like let it be like you don't have to keep adjusting things like if you know it sounds right and you like it yourself drop it no. like don't 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 be worried about oh what's she gonna say What's he gonna say? What the label's gonna say? What the blog's gonna say? No, nah. like if you if you love it, if you like it, you know what's right. Just drop it. Everything will pan out. Yeah, hmm. yeah. it gives you like the ability to to kind of like stay as yourself. Yeah, like, when you're trying to make music for like other people, you can kind of like get away from. Yeah, like, yeah, it's so it. yeah. Because I feel like as artists, subconsciously, like we sometimes make music for other people yeah. because we we just want to like mm-hmm. a. Because I think it's just like we just want a different life what we have right now. Yeah, exactly. So it's like we yeah, we want to try to get to those people that can help us get that different life that you mm-hmm. want right now can help us get you to where you want to go yeah you want to get there faster so we try to make things for other people to help us get there faster and i think that yeah that holds us back like just be yourself and drop what you like because then it gets to a point where what happens if you do that and then yeah it works out you get to where you want to go but you were doing that by making things for other people that you didn't like mm-hmm. and now you're you're on and, and you're, you're making stuck. things that you don't yeah. even enjoy like that's yeah. not a good feeling mm-hmm. so like you want to get on and make things you like at that that's point the best it's just a full-time job then. yeah yeah <laughs> it's just a job yeah <laughs> like it shouldn't be a job like going to job i don't like being here i'm here though i get paid imagine being an artist like, oh, oh, I don't God. like making this, but I'm getting paid. Like, you're going to do that your whole life, not uh, making what I got to go play this concert. Uh. Oh, I hate this song I made, but they all like it. Like, I feel like that's what happens with a lot of people in record labels. Yeah. Like, they're, someone up top says, hey, make a song like this. Yeah, and that's, that like, is how it happens. Oh, fuck, I guess I got to do that. Yeah, nah, that's that's crazy because, like, cause I, like I said, I'm really into J. Cole. Like, his first album, like, he said it before, like, was that. Like, he tried to meet the label's expectations, yeah. trying to make produce all these big beats so i remember the intro where's the hits where's the hits yeah where the hits at where the hits at that's all they care about because that means where the money at where the money at but yeah you you definitely fall into that place where you're making songs for other people like and and your boss at the label uh, fan base yeah you get the wrong Mm -hmm. fan base yo imagine having endless fans that like you for something you don't even like oh my god that would kill on the inside yo like that would (laughs) kill on the inside like yo all these people love you for doing something that you don't even like doing and then when you try and release something you do like, that's when they all... Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, then like, <laughs> on you. let's say one day you decide, you know what? I'm going to make something I like. And everyone's like, why is he doing that? That's not what he... That's, that's not, not what him. Just, that's not him. Like, yeah. And think, then it's like, but this is me. But no one knows it because you started out making what you didn't like. Exactly. So you really got to start from the jump making what, what you love and just being being yourself. And that will pan out. Like, it'll pan out. Sometimes it takes time. Like, we talked about Anderson Ooh. Pack. So, like, yeah, Ooh, we I talked about Anderson Pack. Pack. Yeah, so sometimes it takes time, but, but look. If, with Anderson Pack, yo, I know for a fact, Anderson Pack will not take back any of those nights that he was couch surfing now. Like, now yeah. that he's on, yeah. Matt Malibu's out, nominated for a Grammy. All those years he was couch surfing, that's nothing. He was like, writing those. Yeah, he was writing the whole time. He was grinding. Like, once you get to where you want to go, it makes everything you went through in the past just, like, nothing. So you just got to keep grinding, just believing in yourself, just having faith. That's good. Yeah. Seems like you got a good attitude towards that. Yeah. Um, I mean, do you ever, do you always have that attitude? Um, it's more, well, well, it's wild. I think as people, like we, you got to train yourself to have an attitude, I think. 
Because, yeah, it's definitely hard to, like, have faith in yourself all the time. Because you already yeah, know, like, there yeah. are days when, like, let's say you drop a song and didn't get the views you thought. And it's, it's like, just like, Whoa. what am I doing wrong? Ah. <laughs> like, but, yeah, you have to really train yourself and be like, like, you know what? Like what I said before, like, when if you drop something, it's like, and no one sees it. You know it's great, but didn't get the views you wanted. It's like if a tree fell in a forest and no one's around to hear it, did it actually fall? It doesn't yeah. mean the song wasn't good. Maybe no one just heard it. Like, maybe that's the real thing. So sometimes you got to view it in the right ways because yeah, sometimes I feel like our brain is set up to make us feel bad about ourselves mm-hmm. sometimes especially like, nowadays nah. yeah because yeah. yeah. social media yeah. Exactly. yeah especially on social media like you see everyone doing their thing Cause, you know Instagram is that's yeah. what Instagram <laughs> for you go on yeah, Instagram yeah. everyone's showing their best life right mm-hmm. like, and yeah. then like yeah and then you start comparing it to yourself you get down on yourself as an artist and of course like, I've, I've done that before we all we do it at times everyone. even when we don't even think we do we're it we're human yeah we're human like we do it all the time even when we don't say we don't talk about it but we do it all the time but yeah you just have to, to train yourself just having more than training, just having faith in yourself, I guess, is a better way to put it. Yeah. So, with that new thought process and how you've been reading more, has that, like, changed your uh, style of making music? Has it, like, influenced and uh, more so increased um, your level of music making? Like, um, have you seen, like, um, a performance boost? Is what I'm yeah, to I'll probably say it's made me just think, or well, I guess I'll say it's made me want to be more personal in, in my music. And just saying more things that are just more more personal to me, being more personal about myself, just being honest. I, I guess that, that's kind of what that, that's done for me. Because like as an artist, like, because like being an artist, you have that persona and stuff like that. I don't want never want to be an artist like we said before, where I'm making something. This is not what I like, but I'm just being this person because I want everyone to just accept me. Like, I don't want I don't, I don't want to be that person. Right. And I guess from this new mind state or just from reading too, like I just learned, like yeah, just just be yourself and just be be honest. And that's kind of what my creation process is now. I've always tried to be honest, but now especially I'm being as honest as possible like i want to share my stories i want to share like like the thought the thought pro- processes i've been gaining i want people to understand that because there are a lot of people that like they kind of need to hear those type of things like m- maybe they're really down on themselves yeah and like they can't figure out how to get get that thought thought process they're in like a rut like i like yeah. i understand that because i've been in ruts before mm-hmm. from from music just from life we all go through ruts so like just learning and just i want to be more honest and help people get through those r- ruts through my music so yeah, that's reading has helped me yeah. with that. Um, so like, what have you been reading? Um, I've been reading this book. It's called Spiritual Gangster by Bailey Chase. Yeah, it's funny. Spiritual that, Gangster. Yeah, that's it's, awesome. that's it's crazy because my sister, she actually gave it to me like, like last month. She she was like, yeah, I'm I'm reading this book and like I won't want you to read it. And yeah, I, I started to read that first, and then yeah, it just taught me just a whole bunch of stuff I never really even thought about. The book is just about finding truth and just finding just just purpose in your own life. And like being in our twenties, like. That's that I feel like that's when we're most like trying to find that purpose. Like we're trying yeah. to find ourselves. We're trying to figure out, all right, what job, what career do I want? Like, what do I want to do creative wise? Like, do I want to work for somebody? Do I work for, work for, work for myself? Like, it's one of the hardest periods because trying to figure yourself out. Yeah, so, it's very yeah. stressful. Yeah, yeah, so so yeah, that yeah, I kind of read read about that more. There's a lot of information out here that we just ignore because a lot of us just don't read, just to read. Like, there's info out here. It's crazy. Yeah, I didn't read like that. Like, in high school, I didn't read unless I had to. Like, when I was t- taking college courses, I didn't read unless it yeah. was a part of the course. Yeah. But now it's like I'm learning, like, wow, there's really knowledge out here. And it can really help you, like, with music, with life. Like, it just helps, period. Yeah. yeah. I feel that. Because, like, I mean, like, with school and all that, like, reading textbooks and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, it's stuff I you don't, don't care want, about. Yeah, I don't want to yeah. read at all. But, like, when I read, like, for leisure, like, yeah, it's things you I care feel about, right? so much better about yeah about reading yeah. yeah i definitely started getting into that recently yeah and true like finding your purpose like i read the book the alchemist mm-hmm. i don't know if you heard about that i heard that yeah yeah teddy got me hip to that okay it's yeah, like it's kind of the same thing it's just finding your purpose kind of going with the flow yeah uh, hit me on a spiritual level yeah yeah just yeah i, I mean your 20s is like when you're first just stepping out into the world so yeah no one really tells you what mm-hmm. to do so exactly. you just gotta figure it out right and no one yeah. tells you how to figure it out you just like yeah, okay let yourself. me try this let me yeah. try this Especially like in yeah. your younger years, like you're just going through like grade yeah. school. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, like at least for me, like I was just like going like this narrow path, and then I hit college, and like I had more like exactly. freedom of like thought and like yeah. what I wanted to do. And like, right. I think that was that's how it was things. for like most people. Like uh, yeah. grade school throughout, you know, you just like told what to do. Exactly. College, you're like, and so, and then you just here, now you gotta figure it out. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Good luck. You're out yes, the world. Yeah, yeah. The world. yeah <laughs> it's kind of crazy out. though, cause like just a century ago even like we didn't even have this freedom to like choose what we wanted to do it's like right. you grow up you do what your father is doing yep, and that's, boom, that's it <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah that's, that's a new age man right yeah. i think that's what leads to a lot of our stress oh yeah before yeah. we were fine you're like oh everything's figured out 
easy nah, peasy. You yeah. know, you can't do as much, but I mean know. that's also human nature, though. Like we, no one likes to say this, but we like to be told what we need to do. Kind of less yeah. stress. Structure. Yeah. Right? Yes, mm-hmm. we love structure. So when there's no structure, we actually have to figure it yeah, out. Th- yeah. Yeah. Great point. Yeah. And um, I think you're doing a great job. Oh, thanks. Like what yeah. you're doing, man. I'm trying to, man. Appreciate you. All right. So we played three of your songs already. Word. Um. Which of these two do you want to play? Do your yeah. dance. Play Infatuated. Fact. That's Infatuated. probably oh, my favorite one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I gotta say, you got some dope lyrics on this. Thanks. All right, so here's Infatuated by the Antisocial. about heaven until the hell came I was like seven watching the cell games telling my father he need a strap he can pull it back and propel things just to protect his house shit I've been stressing about see I doubt you seen the amount of grief I witnessed niggas live in the street or cooking heat in the kitchen I never did it I focused on rapping my homie phone blowing up I know that he trapping but the dollars he stacking I imagine this shit was magic wanna know how he did it so I asked him he told me like niggas stop being passive I done changed my life I'm doing wrong every day, but the money make it right Driving in this rafe is nice Fucking with these bitches that never gave me a day in life Just to see all their faces like, damn, that nigga made it right They know who I am You see the light, nigga, I hustle right with ya I looked him in his face and said that I'm with it I'm infatuated with winning Yeah I see niggas cooking dope up in the kitchen Infatuated with winning Yeah they not satisfied with the way they living Infatuated with winning No, no, no Pray to God even when they know they sinning Infatuated with winning Women in foreign cars When they see you run the block Man, they know that you a star, man they, Hey Hey, what I get myself into? I ain't acting like I'm scared, but swear this shit on my mental. I never meant to be this type of nigga. Always fighting and pulling triggers, stacking chips till we flip them. The ones you with, they don't listen. Envision being stuck. We finna pull up on this truck and get to blasting. Shoot a man in their head, don't give a fuck. They started laughing. They thinking about action. I'm thinking how I'm getting out. I should have took a different route. They infatuated with winning at any cost. I think I need to drown myself inside some Henny, y'all. If you caught inside some shit, don't get your friends involved Taking a life ain't enough to try to be a boss This shit is all fake Cops came and they say they're trying to get on our case Put my niggas in some cuffs And I knew it's too late They gon' take us to the pan Make us sit for two days Then that shit gon' turn a life off from a mistake I fucked up You acting like a little bitch right now, nigga Man, fuck that, I ain't letting that shit ride We gon' go ahead and smoke all these motherfuckers I don't care who the fuck out there God damn it Yeah. Sometimes I wondered if God would listen No pot to piss and the cops would kill us I got a vision My death is close so I left a note on the counter thinking Like they should kill me where I stand And if they do, no I'm more than just a man They done killed a prophet This is all according to plan so tell me who gon' stop it Got the power trapped in my hand Now everybody watching Don't expect you to understand so you can hear the gossip Know the proper knowledge is grand So who you know from the struggle but he grind like this Man who you know, get the mic Then he rhyme like this, man who you know from the dark but he shine like this i'm so infatuated he's so infatuated man who you know from the struggle but he grind like this man who you know get the mic then he rhyme like this man who you know from the dark but he shine like this i'm so infatuated he's so infatuated now listen i used to think that life was worthless searching for higher purpose i recognize i ain't perfect but still i'm working to try and be it i made a lot of mistakes i got influence because i'm trying to be great but now i see it i ain't know no better i got caught in my way but now I know forever This life is all but a game You either play it or you get played So many false gods So I pray to Kuta Kente They won't make me a slave Who you know From the struggle But he grind like this Man who you know Get the mic Then he rhyme like this Man who you know From the dark But he shine like this I'm so infatuated He's so infatuated Said who you know From the struggle But he grind like this Man who you know Get the mic Then he rhyme like this Man who you know From the dark But he shine like this I'm so infatuated He's so infatuated now pray to god nigga hey now pray to god nigga 
Hey, yeah. Born cars, when they see you run a block, man, they know that you a star, man, they know that you a star. Hey, anti. Welcome back to the Trip Trap Talk Show on WMUC Radio, where college radio is good radio. That last song was infatu- infatuated by the antisocial. Yep. I mean, I thought it was really cool, just how, you know, it was a storyline. You start off with driving the car, driving around your neighborhood. Right. And then, boom, that beat switch halfway yeah. through the song. Yeah, it's my favorite part. <laughs> you don't see a lot of that, but when it's executed right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah, love glad that. glad you like it. Do you want to tell the people like how the recording process was? Oh yeah, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, so with that song infatuated, yeah. The the way it was supposed to be, it was supposed to just be the first half. It was never supposed, supposed to be the second half. And then um yeah, the song was done. It was gonna come out like it was done. It was gonna come out a week later. And then the next day, I heard, I found the second beat, the second half. And I was like, oh, this is crazy. So I, I think I wrote the whole thing like that night. And then we went to in, in the studio. I feel like the next day, and I just did did it all. The verse, the hook. Everything just all the way through one time, and then I walked out the studio. My engineer played it, and I was like, "Oh snap! What is this?" <laughs> like I was like, "Yo!" And then yeah, he he mixed it all up for like in a few days, and then yeah, we 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 figured out a whole concept. I think that's when we came up with the car and all that, so just to tell the story of like like I'm telling a story in the song, so I wanted this to show like I'm driving through my neighborhood just to give that feeling that you're in the back of car back of the yeah. car while I'm showing you everything and telling you about my life and myself. So yeah, that's kind of where the whole idea came from, just the the end and half, and yeah. yeah. Um, do you think you'd ever want to do like a concept album? Oh yeah, of course. Oh, like, yeah. like yeah, my most yeah. Once I drop an album, it, it will most yeah, it will definitely have a concept because okay. I want to tell that story, like that connection. I want to, yeah. I want to create something that people people can connect to, not just the album, just a just basically just a playlist that you're paying for. Like I, I don't want to give that, some Drake. Yeah, you know, yeah, BS. yeah. I want to <laughs> give something with value. Yeah, so definitely. You want to add to the human like consciousness. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do um, you have like an album? Is that like what you're trying to approach right now, or like are you just trying to put out songs? Um, we I just, just putting out songs right now. We have a lot of songs that that we're gonna put out. And um, right now I'm working on an EP okay. right right now. So yeah, that's the main focus. All right. So yeah, I'll, I'll have an EP. I may drop another EP after that, and then then I'll probably start working on a real okay. project, a whole, whole full co- cohesive album. Mm-hmm. Got to call them albums because we don't call them mixtapes anymore. <laughs> so yeah, so it's gonna be an album. But yeah. Um, who is lyrical ambition? Oh, <laughs> lyrical ambition, yo, that's crazy. Yeah, so that's that's like the first rap group that I well, that's what how I started rapping like that was me and my friend Cole who's actually my photographer now <laughs> like he, he like he shoots uh, videos he do, he does all my photos on my Instagram he shots he shot pretty much almost all of them but yeah he's, he's my photographer now but he used to rap and um yeah we we just started rapping I met him when I went to high school we had like the same like what's that called the same um what's it called when oh, orientation we had the same like, oh, orientation okay. time and we met and he was talking he was talking about how like he rapped and stuff i was like oh word and then like when i talked to him about it and i don't know where we, we were just cool i didn't even know he was good or not like i just i just you know you go to high school you just try to find some friends yeah so yeah, yeah i didn't even know like if he was good or not and then like we we talked about it and then one day we we're like yeah let's, let's just record this rapping like by, by the bleachers or something and this is the first time i heard him rap i was like oh he's good <laughs> like and then it's crazy because i really owe i owe like the artist i'm becoming i really owe it to him like i really do because i'm really competitive so uh, I, I will always try to outdo him all the time. Like I never want to. Like whenever, every time we shot a video, I was like, yo, I. No one would ever say like he, that's like one of my best friends. I tell him to this day. I, to this day, I tell him like, yo, when we used to do that, I wanted to, I wanted to kill you every time. <laughs> like I want to make sure no one was saying your verse was better than mine. You my friend, but that's just how I am. I'm just really competitive. So he really he made me think of ways to write like in new ways like new words i was just always wanting to outdo him like no matter what or I mean, not have him outdo me so i would just try to get better and better so i really owe it to him about how i've improved as the artist i think you years. won that competition a little bit oh yeah thanks man <laughs> <laughs> hey man shout out the cole man no yeah, yeah no he definitely yeah yeah <laughs> competitive spirit right oh yeah 
Um, you were also on stage at like a Phil A Day Logic concert, right? Yo, yo, oh how, my what was goodness, that like? yo, you, yo, you search deep. That's crazy. <laughs> yo, that's insane. Yeah, it's what's wild is, yeah, Phil A Day. I've always been a fan of him. I didn't even know who Logic was until I went to the show. He was headlining it, and Phil A Day was like opening up. Mm -hmm. So I knew we we went to see for like Phil A Day. I had no idea who Logic was. I was like, all right, some dude named Logic is performing. All right. Yeah. So yeah, I go see Fulfill Our Day. His set was cool. Then Logic comes out. I'm like, who is this? Like, and then he does his set, and I'm like, yo, he's amazing. But like, that's why I first learned the Logic. But the yeah, the performance. It wasn't a performance. It was like a cipher or something. So what had uh. happened was after Fulfill Our Day set. There was a, a period where they were like, yeah, any rappers, you can come on stage. I was nervous. I was like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. And then, then my friend was like, go, go. He literally <laughs> pushed me on stage. I was out there. And then, yeah, I, I started rapping. And everybody loved it. I remember nice. that was the first time when, like, I really got an understanding, like, yo, I could really do this. Because I remember when I got off stage, like, endless people were coming up, giving me, like, their business cards, like, asking oh, me, like, yeah. if I'm signed. I was like, from what I just did up there? Like, that's yeah. y'all intrigued from what I just did? Like, and that's when I didn't have any music out. So I had people like, yeah, you can email us your demo. I was like, demo? <laughs> yeah, I'll have that uh, next week. I didn't even know what the demo was. I had nothing, but that was, yeah, that really opened my eyes. That yeah. like, I, I could really do this. That was, yeah, that was, that's funny how you found that. Yeah. How was that? That was of like. Of course, man, you know. That was like. Gotta look out for our guests. Right? That was, I feel like seven years ago. It was, yeah. it was yeah. almost eight. That was a while ago. Like, that was when Logic was still on like, his mixtape days. Yeah. 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 Old school Logic. Right. Um, so like, you know, you're known as the antisocial. So mm -hmm. I'm guessing you're kind of antisocial guy. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's um, funny. Yeah. So how's like performing for you? P performing is wild. I use that name because um that I use that name because most people when they don't know me they feel like I'm antisocial. I kind of I, I I open up with time or like with, with people I know like they know me like <laughs> yeah with, with people that know me like I'm a whole different person from people that don't know me. Like if someone doesn't know me oh he never talks but then you ask Cole he's like. He never talks. What do you mean? He's talking all the time. Like, that's only because you know me. So I really, I open up to, like, to certain people. But it's like, yeah, from the outside, like, I do get viewed as that. Even, I don't even know why sometimes. Like, maybe it's just my face. Like, a lot of people think I'm just, I don't talk. Or I don't, I'm just not open to just being just, I don't know. I'm just to myself, I guess. A lot of people think. But then on stage, it's a whole nother person. Like, on stage, I'm, I'm the opposite of what of what my name is on stage. That's why I kind of use that name. So it's a, it's, a, it's a kind of kind of like a play, yeah, like a play yeah. on on the word. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, like I I I mainly pick that just to be more personal. That name kind of helps me be more personal too, cause like it kind of it, it's a part of myself instead of just having like some name that I just created. Like I don't know, just for example, two chains. Two chains. <laughs> that like two chains. yeah, no, nah, that that's just an example. But for the anti-social, it's just it's a part of my being, like it's a part of who I am. So I kind of on music, it helps me be more personal. Mm -hmm. Like it tells me to be more of myself when my name is a part of myself, my personality. So be yourself in your music. So, yeah. I mean, what I've heard a lot from, like, uh, Kadeem and, like, John is that, like, with alcohol, you definitely open up and start talking. Yeah, like, does that, yeah. Uh, does that help you before you, like, perform and whatnot? Uh, oh, and, well, and does it ever <laughs> does it ever go like the other way too? Does it nah, like make you like? Nah, it's funny. Like I don't drink to like perform. Like I'll just I think I told it or, like before. What happens is so like as an artist, you'll show up for sound check, and then like you're on a lineup, like you get free drinks. And so let's say I go on at twelve and sound check's at seven. Y'all just gave me five hours to get free drinks. So it kind of just happens. I'm like, oh, God, I'm drunk. And then, and then I end up being on stage. Like, I'm not really that drunk on stage. But, but like, nah, it, it doesn't really affect the, the like, performance. But it, 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 you kind of get, you kind of, you don't think as much. So I feel like the performance does kind of come a little bit more natural, I'll probably say. You don't overthink yeah, I mean. stuff. Because, like, as, as an artist on stage, you may, you're overthinking, like, all right, like, who, what should I say here? How should I say it? Especially in, like, my interludes where I talk, like, like when, when um I guess I mean I'm, I'm that's funny that frankly even brought that up it's hilarious <laughs> but yeah like I guess during that like you really just think less you'd be more honest because like there's like the interlude when I perform infatuated I really I, I like to talk and just be just to tell a story about uh, about myself and so I, I guess that kind of just helps me just be more honest and just not be afraid to to just to talk on stage and just be myself a lot of people are scared to get on stage period yeah and like I remember when I was a kid. I would never want to want to get on stage. What? Like I used to be very like just nervous. I was a nervous kid, Ang anxiety, everything. I was nervous, and so now like being an artist, just owning up to myself and just wanting just to not be that person, like it's helped me just go on stage, just be strong and just be confident in myself. So, yeah. yeah.
I think there are a lot of artists that are like kind of suffered that same thing. Yeah. But it's good that you're like saying this because it gives them like not hope, but you know, something to look out for. Like yeah, it is right. possible. You you can be antisocial yeah. Yeah. Know, and still be on the yeah. stage, like yeah. giving it your all. Yeah, you can. Like being on stage is like, all right, yo, when I'm on that stage, this is the time when I can be like like I've let's say you've been naturally antisocial, nat naturally had anxiety like your whole life. And it's like, yo, when I'm on that stage, it's like I feel that freedom to be the person I've always wanted to be. And I think that's why where I get like the whole inspiration just when I'm on stage is being being having the opportunity to be that full confident person that I wasn't when I was a kid. I would say that, yeah. Right. Making up for lost time. Right. <laughs> so now we're gonna hear a freestyle or maybe it's pre written, yeah. but you know Definitely, definitely they, they have pre written on freestyles all the time. Yeah. Right. And no one calls them out. Right. Or maybe they do. Well you just call <laughs> them out. <It's>, uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. Alright, but yeah. Cool. Let's, just make sure the mic is close. Yeah. So yeah, just just uh, start, just start whenever. Yeah, start whenever. Got it. All right, so I go by the antisocial from last night, and uh, I'm gonna say some words for y'all. Yo, uh, see, I'm the type that doesn't say things, right and dirty, but stay clean. My brothers had the same dreams, now they driving in salines, but reality's hitting. I'm casually winning. I walked up in the church and thought, damn, I'm actually sinning, cause I'm my only idol. No holy Bible show me my title. No motivation for murder, but in this rap game, I might kill, don't fight real. I'm made to make numbers, can't take away hunger. I told my family they could fall back like fadeaway jumpers, cause the competition is non-existent, no consequences for not forgetting my cost of living. My girl was often distant, she got to witness the habits I do. I cut her off, off like clippers. Said I'm no different from Austin Rivers, she said, boy, you stupid, I'm starting to think you crazy. She read my blueprint, now she's starting to think I'm Jay-Z, nah, change the discussion. Got you hating and loving at the same time, I told you my lyrics can change lives, it's game time. Hit the club and made it rain, a negro living, but I slipped on a hundred. I guess I'm ego tripping. Comparing me to J. Cole, they say that we no different. I was sitting on the sidelines, getting zero minutes, now I'm balling. In rare form, all these rappers, I'm scared for them. Whoever on the throne is only keeping the chair warm. When I spit, I'm airborne, I'm on another level. Devil told me the game had changed, I'm switching lane to lane, I had to rap. They have the habitats, and after that, I made it right. They tried to get me to smoke, but I'm afraid of heights, and I'm a living legend, so y'all can say I'm ill. And that's it. Girl, <laughs> Short and sweet. Yeah. Trying to get me high, but I'm afraid of heights. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like that one. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I think I remember, I saw one of your tweets before, where you're like, are you getting high for fun, or are you just, like, have demons? Yo, that's yeah. that's that's kind of, like, an interesting thing. I really kind of put that, that like, that concept or thought in, in, into my music, because it's really crazy how a lot of people, they'll just smoke a lot. They'll smoke a lot. Oh, I kind of just get high to get high. For me... Last year, I went through a really dark period in, in my life. I was smoking so much, but really because I was really going through a, a depression. Yeah. That's what I was going through, and I really used smoking. And then it's like, we didn't have to say smoking. It could be anything. Yeah. Whatever your vice is yeah. to get you to, to, to get your mind off off the whatever it's been, whatever course off your mind's been going stuff. on, like whatever to kind of get your mind back or distracted from that stuff, that's your vice. And then for me, that was weed. So for a whole like year period, like I was smoking so much. My engineer knows he was there. He saw me smoking. Like, I, I was smoking so much, and like and like I, it got to a point where I realized toward the the end of the year, I realized and I, I noticed like why why am I smoking so much? I really thought to myself, why, why am I doing this so much? And I realized I'm using this to avoid some type of pain I'm going through. And then then that that kind of made me understand like. We all go through so much that's like, like we, we go through all like ourselves, we have our own trials and tribulations, our own pain. But at the end of the day, it's pain. So we all go through pain and like things that like bother us, things that we think about, it's all the same. So then I thought about like, yo, the things that I'm thinking about and how I used weed to cope, like there are other people basically going through the same type of things and they use something to cope. So that made me really think like now when I see people that smoke a lot, like they drink a lot. Like you can know. Yeah, like, yeah. no, now now that like, I really like I've noticed things in people like that drink a lot or smoke a lot. I've even had talks with people that I've noticed like that have, that like, like I said, they drink or smoke a lot. I've sat down and talked with them like, yeah, like, like how come you smoke so much? We're well, not just saying that straight up, but just having just a real talk. Yeah. Just yeah. trying to get down to the bottom of it. And I've learned like they had things too, like things that were bothering them, like things they've been going through. Like it's really just learned, like, yo, we're all human, like we really gotta look at people and think deeper. Like maybe your friend that's smoking a lot, maybe he just needs someone to ask him if he's alright. Or your friend who's who's drinking a lot. Oh yeah, yeah, my friend. He's the he, he's the lit friend. He's a turnt friend. He's yeah. the one we go out with all the time. Well, maybe maybe someone go see if he's alright. Maybe he's getting drunk all the time because he's got his own demons he's going through. And, and maybe getting lit and getting turnt is how he gets he he gets away from it. You feel me? Yeah. So yeah, that's kind of what I learned going through my own stuff is. 
me learning about myself helped me learn about people, I guess. Mm, that human connection. Yeah, wow, that's that's real. Yeah, I definitely feel you on that one. Like, yeah. I remember I was talking to one of my brother's friends. He was like, oh, yeah, I did all these drugs last night. Like, yeah. naming a bunch of them. And cool. I was like, oh, <laughs> lit? And then yeah, he's, like, like, he's like, no, seriously, I did a lot of drugs. I was like, <laughs> but it's like, why? You okay? <laughs> yeah, no, because if you think about it, like, a lot of people do all these drugs, and it's like, why? Because what a drug does, like, it gives you a feeling. The way I see drugs, like, I feel like we take drugs because we're trying to find a feeling that we can't get at that moment. That's, that's why. Like, I smoked weed because it made me happy. Well, what does that mean? I couldn't get happiness on my own. That's a problem. Like, you should yeah. be able to make yourself happy, and I couldn't. So, that, like I said, that made me learn that when people are doing these type of things, maybe they're missing happiness. They're trying to feel, they're missing something. They're filling a void with that, whatever they're using. So, yeah. yeah. That's drug abuse. That's basically what it is. Exactly. That's what KOD is about. Drugs. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's exactly what that's about. I mean, I just wish everyone saw it like that. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't. It's crazy. And it's like, yeah, like through music, that's really, I really, this year, like I said, I've, that's what one of my main goals in music is just having those real talks. Like, all those things that we don't talk about, I want to talk about them. Well, like, that's the power of introspection, though. You actually yeah. have to, like, sit down and look inwards and see, like, what is going on. Yeah. Like, it just takes that time to really, like, focus in on yourself, and a lot of people aren't willing to do that. Right, right. Yeah. Exactly. Um, <clears throat> so, our recording tends to cut us off a little bit early. Uh -huh. So, do you want to just do, like, shout-outs and, like, promotions, uh -huh. like, right now? Oh, yeah, yeah, yo. So, yeah, yeah like I said, I go by the anti-social... You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, underscore the anti-social, the anti-social underscore, and then yeah, on SoundCloud, the anti-social music, on Facebook, the search up anti-social on everything. Just look up the anti-social, you'll find me. And uh, yes, yeah, shout out the last night. You can also follow them. Last night, all platforms, all all my homies in the group. But uh, yeah, that's uh, about it. Bet. Um, what's with the like Korean or Japanese yeah. letters or what the heck that's on your Twitter? Like, oh, what is that, 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 um, I done forgot what it said. Cause, 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 cause the first person <laughs> said king. No, it says anti now. Yeah. yeah oh, okay. it says. It's anti in Japanese. Yeah. That's what it said on a uh, bankrolls. I actually had to have a promo for bankrolls that we shot also says that. And that was actually my photographer, Cole, who I used to rapper that. Yeah. That was his idea. That's why I like Cole. That's one of my best friends. He even gives me ideas. Cause I remember he, he posted that and like, he just showed it before the song played and the video plays like anti in Japanese. I was like. Hey, that's cool. And then, yeah, I took the idea, and yeah, that's, that's what that means. Because I'm really into anime, like oh, a part yeah, of Rock Lee yeah. and stuff. So, yeah, I kind of just, like, I'm just into that culture. So, it's yeah. kind of funny how linked anime and hip-hop is. It's so yeah. linked. It's crazy. A <laughs> lot of hip-hop are really yeah. dope. Yeah, they're both really dope. Like, anime and hip-hop are, like, it's just, like, yo, it's, yeah. like, the perfect mix. And like you know, you can put, like, a hip-hop beat over, like, an anime track. Yo, it'll like, like yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's what Toonami does, like, in right. the interludes. Yeah. It was have a little, it was, like, lo-fi, like, beats, mm -hmm. boom-bap yeah. beats. It's yeah, like, oh, Toonami days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. What's your uh, favorite anime? Do you have one? Me? I, I want to say... It's a hard question. Yeah, it's yes. a hard question because, like, it's wild because, like, if you sit down with, like, real anime people and you say, like, Naruto or Dragon Ball Z, like, they're all, like, you're basic... You're basic. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean? Like, I think Dragon Ball Z is, like, amazing. I think Naruto that's, that's is amazing. Game, man. That's yeah. like what you grew up with. Yeah, I grew up on Dragon Ball I mean, Z. I think Naruto is amazing. Yeah, like, like Naruto, I think, is one of the greatest, like, animes ever. Like, every character has their own backstory. Like, you, you can go deep into every character's, like, identity. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. great. Like, what? Anime, I think, is great. I think they're just mad about the filler episodes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. filler episodes. It can be a little, but yeah, nah, it's a I'm part gonna, of the story. Yeah. It is a part of the story. Yeah, but yeah. I got and they're about haters, too. right? <laughs> yeah, facts though. Um, do you have any like music videos coming out? Um, coming out or like I don't working on? Think I have any? We <laughs> right now we're working on one for bankrolls. We're planning one for major, but uh, most of the videos I'm gonna have out are gonna start when my EP comes out. Because okay. yeah, right now the singles we're dropping. A lot of them. A lot of people don't know those singles are just songs that we just had laying around, and we're trying to get rid of them. Because sure. it's crazy yeah. when you have a song just sitting around. Like, a lot of it is, like, the way I see it is, like, a joke. It's, like, I see songs that, like, are sitting around. It's, like, when, like, you've raised a kid for, like, 18 years, and now, like, <laughs> you kicked him out of the house, I drought. Like, finally. <laughs> it's like that. A lot of these songs are songs, like, we've had, we just recorded, and, like, we just had time. We just, I wrote something, we recorded it, and, like, he, Brian mixed it, my engineer, and it sounded great, and we, we put it out. That's why a lot of the real stuff that we've really, a lot of the beats that we've been holding on to, that we've been wanting to work on, are going to be on the EP. Like, the EP is really when I want people to see like what's okay. really about to happen like the songs that are coming out right now just 
that's just a just preview. Like the preview. Yeah, uh, the the EP is really when it's really gonna go down. It's gonna be serious. So okay. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Thank yeah. you, man. I cannot wait. Yeah, cause all, all the songs that are out, like I see those as like throwaways. So yeah, when when the EP, yeah. that's why I'm glad these people yeah. like them. Yeah, I'm glad that the people like them, cause me and Brian, we see them as throwaways. Like these songs are just practice to us. Uh, to to be honest. So that's why when, cause we we believe in ourselves a lot, and we know what we want to do. Like we we've been working together for a while, so, yeah. so we know like our tendencies and stuff like that. So that's why when we really we buckle down, and do this EP, like it's gonna be a special thing. So I really cannot wait for that. I, I'm really excited. So I mean, yeah. it seems like you're putting a lot of effort into it. Yeah. yeah, you have to. You have to. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hot. Are you gonna do like a a tour or anything? A tour, man. I I wish. I feel like the tour will come when it's time. I feel like mm-hmm. the tour will come when. When when you no know, like my projects are out because right now it's, it's really early. I have a few songs out and like personally like eats me on the inside. I want to do more. Yeah. But it takes time. It takes time. So I know that time will come when when the projects out when p- people will start seeing it. More eyes will start seeing it. Like I know things will start to manifest. So yeah, tour is soon. Soon, I mean, man. You've seen what like Coleco did. You literally just yeah. like you just yo, like Co- I Coleco, bet I'm going. Yo, sh- sh- shout out to Coleco. He's one of the founders of Last Night, the group I'm in. Yeah, he went on a whole world tour by himself. Like, that's really, like, you think about it. First of all, you you were able to book all these places in these different countries, and you went by yourself to these places, like, alone. That's really, like, powerful. Like, that's crazy. Like, he's he, he's a special person. Yeah, really. facts. Yeah, yeah, like, that. That he he did that. Yeah, tell him yeah, to get on our show. Him. You said what, sorry? T- tell him to get on our show. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, yeah, he, he has to come through. Yeah, yeah. He, yo, you guys' questions are amazing. He's got to come by. He's probably some <laughs> great stuff for him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll play Do You Dance to yeah. get out. Oh, yes. That's oh, yeah, that, that, that's a perfect ending. Do you, you can dance, end with that. Do You Dance. <laughs> um, but yeah, check out the Antisocial. Check out Trip Trap Talk Show. We're all over Instagram, Facebook. Don't have a Twitter. That's Okechi's fault. I'm blaming him for that. <laughs> um, it'll come. It'll come eventually. And eventually we'll be on Spotify, too. Right? Yes. Hmm? Yeah? Yeah. We'll play on Sweet. iTunes, too. Yeah. Hey. I bet. Do your dance, do your dance, ooh. 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 I throw a party for all of my cats. Who at the door? Hope you have all the cash. Lou in the back, got the ladder to pack. Get what you want, throw it all in the bag, yeah. I should go one up the tab, yeah Put my whole team on the map, yeah Say that I'm moving too fast, yeah But I still been on the gas Turn up, I turn up a beautiful vice Shit that we do, you ain't heard of in life My shorty ain't been as high as some years I told her she ain't been doing it right This ain't the we where you came from This type of shit make your face numb I don't really fuck with new friends I just go chill with my day ones You don't fuck with me, you should say some Get your bell rung, send you straight to heaven where you fell from I am not a reverend, I don't sell son I don't sell Jesus, but I still believe it I'm a prophet for a prophet Who gon' knock it if you got it? Your support was never needed But I still can feel you watching the DJ should drop it like Do your dance, do your dance, ooh 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 